Oh, hi! This week, we're actually making a project that I was hoping to give my mom for Christmas, but today is December 29th. Lord knows when you're going to see the video. Hi mom, I hope I've given this to you. It'll hopefully still be a surprise. So yes, magnetic cribbage board. The most important part is you're gonna need a magnetic board. The way I figured out the holes is I measured out the board and then these are what I'm going to use for a peg. They're just little magnetic thumbtack situations. I think the smaller the better, because generally cribbage holes are very tiny because there's so many of them. But total you need 121 holes. So I have all of mine 3 eighths of an inch apart. So there's 25 per row and there's going to be 5 rows. So that's going to add up to 125. But this last one is just going to have a big like finish area. And then on top of that, I'm going to need a bunch of stickers. I got these in a care package from my beloved friend Allison and they're perfect because there's all these little like triangle things and that's going to help me indicate like every fifth peg hole and where the skunk lines are. And then you could use markers but the problem with dry erase magnetic boards is that they're erasable lines. I am going to mark a lot of the stuff with adorable washi tape. Okay, once you've mathed everything, because I have five rows, I'm going to have four lines marked out with washi tape. Let's lay that out now. I used arrows just to indicate which direction to go. I think I'm gonna do every fifth peg hole. There aren't even peg holes. There's no holes in this. That's the point. I guess a sharpie wouldn't wash off of this so you could use markers. This is kind of the fun of it is you can be as creative as you want. I'm gonna use a bunch of stickers so we'll check back. Also because the washi tape is so thin and these other stickers are pretty thin the magnets will still stick. As you can see I have every single hole marked. I'm just gonna mark all the fifth holes across each section just so I can keep everything nice and even. You guys, I finished the thing. Holy shit. I will say, I wish I had like measured out these little squares for each of the spots. I didn't know how I was gonna lay it out and then I just fucking like zoned in. So you can set this up however you want, but this is the shit I'm going with. But it's like usable. There's a big fancy like finish spot. All of them start up here. I was hoping throughout my years of sticker hoarding that I would find a skunk specific sticker set. Not the case. Get strawberry shortcake and Neopets for days though. All right, so stars it is. So I'm gonna do it at the 90 point line. Also at the 60 point line. Well, that's a double skunk. And then if someone wins the game with 121 points and you haven't even crossed 30 and you get triple skunk, I mean, I respect my mom enough to not even bother adding the triple skunk line because she's just, she's better than that. I hope you like this, mom. If I was not already an old lady, I think my love of cribbage solidifies that pretty fucking hard. And something to measure with. With? Mm, not a word. 